Welcome to 3556 Southwest Exero Avenue. This four bedroom, three bath home sits on a 10,454 square foot lot. It's well utilized. The home is 3,320 square feet. It has a great yard all the way around with sprinkler system and a wrap around front porch enclosed RV parking on the side and a triple car garage. The home does have central gas heat with AC. Standing on the side of the house here you can see this double wide enclosed RV parking area. Two RVs can be parked behind that gate. They've had an RV and a boat. There's the triple garage, leads right into the main floor. Standing in the foyer, looking towards the great room area, and at the staircase leading to the second floor. It's a beautiful entry, very tall ceilings, and the flooring is slate here at the entrance. There's a full bath right there next to the main floor guest bedroom being utilized currently as an office. There are built-in speakers throughout, a whole home sound system with central control. Each room that has the speakers has its own controller. So you can turn the music on and change the volume. That's the controller right there for this room. Inside the closet is the main tech box for the home where you have everything with your wiring leading from this location. You put your internet in that spot, the modem, and it connects the rest of the home, makes everything nice for central control on any of your IT type things. The parlor up front that could flexes a formal dining room also has the speakers. And then out front there's an outdoor speaker and that's the controller for it right there. You can see all the windows, doors, they're all fully cased. And that leads through to the dining area and kitchen. The downstairs full bath, one of the nicest and most convenient features of this home is that if you have a guest that can't go up and downstairs, you do have a main floor guest bedroom with a full bath and shower so it's easy to get into if mobility is a problem. That really helps a lot. Under stair storage And the door that leads out to the triple garage. The great room area has beautiful hardwoods throughout that have been recently refinished. There's a breakfast nook that leads out to the private backyard and wraparound porch. The built-ins are amazing. And this bottom cabinet straight ahead below the TV controls all of the through home sound, the receivers there, all of that equipment stays with the home. That leads directly into the kitchen with an awesome island, a very functional design with lots of storage and slab granite counters. There's also a pantry and pantry cabinetry next to that other pantry, lots of storage. A really nice dining area here that leads through to that family room that could flex as a formal dining room. The home 
home has great blinds and window treatments throughout. now through the entry. An absolutely awesome main floor layout. Now on the second floor, standing on the landing looking down towards the foyer. Starting on the far north end of the home, we have the bonus room with built-in speakers for the surround sound system to be wired in with a TV. Right behind the TV here is where all those wires for this room come to, so you can connect your receiver and have surround sound in the bonus. Directly adjacent to the bonus room is the upstairs guest bathroom, the tub shower combination, dual vanity, and it has the slate flooring. It's a great size bathroom. Right across from the bathroom is the utility room. with utility sink, lots of storage, lots of countertop space. One of the two upstairs guest bedrooms, both upstairs guest bedrooms have walk-in closets, easily fit queen-size beds with end tables, this one has a nice little bonus of uh, what could be used as a desk space if wanted. It wouldn't be terribly private as it overlooks the entry, but it could be used for a little workspace. That large walk-in closet great organization. The second upstairs guest bedroom again fits a queen size bed very comfortably. Some larger furniture pieces in here and you still have lots of room to get around. And that great walk-in closet. Then there's the upstairs office. Has a nice table all built in that will stay. And finally, the highlight of upstairs, the master suite. King size bed with two large end tables. and larger furniture pieces and you still have lots of room. There's a nice ceiling fan and some really nice views of the of Powell Butte and the Southern Buttes. There's your own private fireplace up in the master. There are nine foot ceilings throughout the second floor as well. And they are on the main floor, except for in those places where it's lofted all the way to the second floor. The master closet, 
extremely well organized, has its own window. And that leads into the master bathroom with radiant floor heat, a jetted soaker tub, double vanity, slab granite countertops, a tiled shower, really nice windows, two linens closets, and the all-important enclosed toilet. This master suite really has everything you could ever need and is very spacious. Even allows if somebody wanted for an extra seating area. There's lots of flexibility in how that could be configured. And the speakers do continue into the master as well. That whole sound system has sound there and in this office. Now in the under home workout area, this is not included in the square footage and is just an extra bonus. You could make a nice workshop, playroom, the ceiling heights are right about seven foot, even under this lower point right here, it's about six foot five. You can see there's a workbench or desk, however you want to use it right there. And then that door leads to more under home storage. It's really clean and concreted, so it's very useful. And then the access outside. Just a great little bonus space that has many different uses. Standing at the corner here where the covered front porch wraps around to the side and back porch. You can see all that great hardy plank siding. Built for longevity. Another thing to notice is all the lighting built into this covered front porch area. Side porch. Made out of Trex deck. Really private area with a good view. You can see there's awesome privacy trees already grown up. They're evergreen, so it'll always be a great privacy buffer. That door leading into the breakfast nook. It's a nice little yard area. And this looks over at the RV parking, the double wide RV parking area. Just a really great outdoor entertainment area with lots of different aspects to stay out of the sun, get in the sun, or enjoy the outdoors however you'd like. From a southern, eastern, or more western exposure.